Hello, World Wide Web. I'm Dr. Shadow, the Universe now, the best hair, and I haven't done one of these in a while. A little reaction review, as I call them, and since the old ones I've put up have garnered some uh, interesting comments over the years, let me just put, get this out of the way right away. This is not the long-form, cut-apart, pieces of the movie kind of review and is not supposed to be. I'm going to do one of those later, but I just got back from watching The Predator, now here on Friday, the first day it's out technically, even though I think it was being shown earlier elsewhere, but you get what I'm saying. And I'm here to give you my honest first reactions to The Predator. First half of this video I'm going to try to do mostly spoiler free and then jump into the spoilers and boy I got a lot to talk about there. But anyway, uh, overall, The Predator. What exactly is this movie? It's an action comedy. Like, Predator, Predator 2, and Predators were all action-y with a little horror. It's really not that much horror going on in The Predator, if any at all. I don't know, I'm pretty desensitized at this point, but... I didn't really see anything that was trying to build much... Well, I guess the one scene with Olivia Munn, but... Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, mo most of her acting, for the, at least the first half of the movie she was in, and even quite a bit of it towards the end, was just her stand there and look confused and say nothing. That's most of what Olivia Munn did in this movie. I uh, wasn't exactly expecting great acting from her, but I expected some lines on occasion. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There's, uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So... While Predator movies tend to be, you, you got the people, you got the Predator. There's a conflict there. Predators hunt people. This is bad for people. People try and do something to give out that. It's tough, because Predators are tough motherfuckers. And in Predator 2, you had the introduction of the government agencies that really would like to get their hands on the Predator stuff, because they got some high-tech shit, and they're big, and they're strong, and it's nice, and we like big, strong things in our militinaries. Uh, there's a bit of an aspect of that this time around, but it's so pushed forward so hard, so ham-fistedly, you really don't have much of a conflict with The Predator, the, the, the name of the movie, The Predator. Not only is there more than one Predator, but it's it's uh, mostly the people is the issue. You, you, you got this small group of heroes and they're fighting against the people that are trying to kill them. The Predator doesn't give a shit right now. The Predator really doesn't give much of a fuck, and there's all this other uh, subtext and shit in this. Oh my god, I really gotta burst into the, the, uh, spoilers on this one, but, oof. Uh, gotta say, uh, yes, the kid's still in it. The kid from the first trailer, but he's not in it in quite the same way as it was depicted in the first trailer. The first trailer, they kind of said that he's playing with the thing like it's a ship. And that didn't happen. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. There's things from the trailers that were said in, like, press releases and little previews and people talking about that. And the first preview that went out to all the presses and such had one scene that they all talked about that wasn't in the movie. So it's like the kid didn't go like it's a ship. It crashed on its own. Like, that. Was, that he did shit. He did fuck things up for everyone. But that's not how... Thing, like, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna be breaking into the spoilers very soon here because there's just a lot to unpack. But overall, the Predator, it's got nice action, not the best action. Uh, it's get you, know, it's modern action movie. You got some pretty good shots, pretty good effects, but you got a lot of things that are just really close up and you don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, that's 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 the thing. I mean, I watched uh, Demolition Man recently, I rewatched it recently, and I was looking at all the action scenes and that and how cohesive they are and how if you take a still frame from any part of any action scene, it looks like a page out of a comic book. It's really well done there. This is more modern kind of action where you got some nice looking shots, nice looking effects, and then you got a real close up of some shit going on, and then it's, it's it is what it is. <laughs> it's what you expect out of a modern movie. But, uh, yeah, there's... The, uh, the, the movie overall, I feel like... If you don't know shit about Predator, 
you probably will find some enjoyment here. It's action comedy. You gotta come in ready for a long series of scenes that have no fucking action going on, and it's like a cringe compilation that the movie's pulling out right of its ass right in front of you. And I hope you're into those, because that's the style of comedy we got going on here. And it's like every single character is a jokester. Every single one. Every single one. Even the fucking kid. Every fucking buddy. Every fucking buddy is a joker. Uh, but, yeah, this, the movie just doesn't take itself seriously most of the time, really. But, overall, it's got decent action. If you don't know shit about Predator, it's probably an enjoyable flick. I'd say it's about a two out of five. It definitely has enough enjoyment for people, especially those who have no fucking idea what Predator is. Uh, uh, but it... See, the the, uh, the it just gets bogged down with so much stuff and then there's like the, the stack of endings going on okay let's get into the spoilers let's get into the spoilers holy fucking shit oh my god let's retcon the whole fucking series okay so you know how predators like take people's skulls with the spines attached and shit you know how to take the skulls with the spines attached and that's the predator trophy well it's not just a trophy it's not a trophy at all actually it kind of is they've displayed them like trophies but in between all that did you know they was taking some shit out of those spines and i guess the skull was just like a bonus i don't know and they were putting that shit into shit to add to their own shit because they figure hey if i'm strong enough to, ha to hunt down and kill this guy that is there for obviously weaker than me, I'm gonna put his DNA in me because he's got good DNA. And I'm gonna do that with every fucking species I hunt. And I'm gonna go fucking hunt and do all this shit. And then a motherfucking joking about the name the Predator. Oh my fucking God, this is the only movie where they call the Predator the Predator. Every other movie, they don't. It's just the title. It's just the fucking title! And they make such a big deal out of it! They make so many fucking jokes about, oh, it's actually a game hunter! It's like a bass fisherman! Oh, it's not really a predator, but we voted and predator sounds the coolest! They don't fucking... My cat kills things that it doesn't eat! It's still a predator! Fuck! So... After the movie makes fun of the rest of the movie's names. Oh, I just laugh, laugh. Everyone have a big, happy laugh at every fucking thing that goes on. Because it's so fucking zany and silly. And I got put on the bus with all the crazy people. And so they're, that's the reason they're all zany and silly, because they're crazy. We got this guy with Tourette's, but it only happens when it's plot relevant. So fucking goddamn it. Oh, shit, fuck. Oh. Oh. <sighs> God damn, but yeah, that scene with Olivia Munn that was in all the previews that wasn't in the actual movie was the Where'd you learn to shoot like that, America? That wasn't there. Uh, the kid going with the ship and the ship crashing, that didn't fucking happen. What happened was the fucking predator ship is being chased by another predator ship and the first predator ship says fuck this shit and goes through a wormhole and that wormhole leads him to Earth. And going to Earth, he comes in a little too fucking hot and crashes. Like he sma smashes into a little bit of, a little bit of a a, a satellite, and I, I don't know that fucks something up. I guess maybe I don't know he's got a really big ship. That satellite just turned into dust when he did it. But I guess they they could have gone a little further and said, hey, let's make it some fucking space junk or some shit. I mean, they got such a huge environmental aspect of the rest of the movie because oh my god, you know predators have increased their rate of coming down here and hunting us because we are an endangered species because. Climate change is going to kill us all in a couple of generations. Is so that's why they gotta come and hunt us now, cause otherwise we're not gonna be there. Even though the fucking last movie, Predators, showed that they fucking take things and put them in another spot, you think they can't fucking breed us? We're good at breeding. Uh, so, 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 predators like to change their DNA to what they hunt, and it's really fucked up. Like the predator dogs. They have the predator dogs. You had predator dog creature things in Predators. They were different fucking alien species. They had big horns on them and shit, and they did all kinds of stuff, and they worked like pack, like little 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 doggies. They just go do the hunting thing. Not these predator dogs. These predator dogs are predators genetically matched with dogs because as predators somewhere killed a dog and was like, that sounds good, and put it in my spine. Ruff, ruff. Fucking Scooby-Doo up in this bitch. 
Ugh, and the fuck god cooking shit ass bitch and then they fucking brain a dog and they just fucking fuck its brain up and then it follows them around like a dog which makes me wonder what the fuck they did to its brain and then it's just pretty much working as deus ex machina kinda like it pops in when it's needed and then they quickly put it away so that it can pop in next time it's needed and then they can quickly put it away it's fucking four like a deus ex machina fucking all the fucking god cock and shit and fucking tits oh <sighs> so 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 the fucking kid the fucking kid the fucking kids got autism but for some reason they call it asperger's which i know is pretty much the same thing except you don't diagnose it that way anymore unless this is set in the past i don't know but <sighs> the kid's got asperger's and shit the kid's got autism and he's got fucking bullies chasing him around and bullies treat him bad because he's different well, the bullies fucking fuck with everybody, but they they specifically fuck with him because he's an important character. Unlike that motherfucking kid he nuked! Like the fucking one house he goes to on Halloween, he's got the predator mask on because fuck it. He's like, I don't want to wear this fucking, this uh, little Frankenstein costume because the bullies will still be able to notice me. So I'm going to put on the predator mask and literally nothing else. Well, I mean, the, the, the fucking wrist, the fucking bracer too. But he got his regular fucking clothes on that the kids see him in every day! Of course I'm gonna recognize you, you dumb shit! You got alien fucking mask! And you still fucked it up! Ugh, so. Kid fucking bullied him from the one stand just where shoot, and hits him in the back of the head and the mask, this is, it establishes it works on its own. I got it fucking attacked. I'm gonna laser fucking blast this motherfucker, rip his guts out from his torso, he goes flying everywhere, and he's fucking dead. And the fucking goddamn fucking house blows the fuck up. And then we're supposed to forget about that shit or something. 15 minutes later when he's talking to his dad, his dad's like, oh, I was just, Oh, what how you God, I haven't seen you in years. How you doing? And he's like, Mommy says you're a killer. It's like, what do you think you did to little Johnny, you shit? You think you just exploded with raspberry jam? He's gonna fucking come back later? You just killed somebody! Don't fucking talk to your dad about killing people without first dealing with your own shit! So! 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 The first predator that crashes down leaves a bunch of shit. Daddy takes a bunch of the shit and mails it to himself in a P.O. box, fucks up and sends it to his house anyway. I don't know why the hell I needed that kind of depth there. It's like, I'll try to keep my family safe, so I send it to a P.O. box. Like, they're not going to go fucking pick it up. What the fuck? And the kid fucking opens it anyway. He's a dumbass. And he just fucking goes and he takes the thing out. And because of his... his, his autism, he's able to decode the predator language and do all kinds of shit with that. And... Speaking of the predator language! God damn it! You know how predators can mimic, right? <laughs> they didn't. The fucking writers didn't know that. They don't fucking mimic. Like, I guess there's like a couple of laughs or something this, and they say a word kind of, but they do it really shitty, and they still sound mostly like they're growling. But you know how predators have mimicked in like every single fucking predator movie there was? Well, they don't hear. Not really. Not like that. This motherfucker, though, he knows... God damn English! This fucking predator, this the super predator, the second predator that comes down where the kid fucking pokes the shit and decodes the language and sends the beacon so the guy's like, oh my god, he went to Earth. Even though he should have been able to figure that out because the whole thing he was doing was trying to take something to Earth to save us! Why didn't the super smart fucking super predator know that the guy go to Earth went to Earth? Why did he need the kid to fucking... Oh, but the kid fucking pokes the shit, and the guy gets the signal like, oh, he went to Earth! I should have fucking known that, and he goes! So, 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 that's about the end of the fun part of Predator, because you go from the normal Predator, who for some reason came to Earth to save us, but the first thing he did after his ship crashed was murder a couple of people, because that's what they do! Anyway, this motherfucker, this is super predator comes down and he's like twice as big and he fucking kills the regular predator 
And that's where it stops being fun. Because the regular Predator was the guy in the suit. He looked really good. Super Predator? CG fucking eye and not even very well animated. He just looks like your CGI character in a movie and he just does your CGI character shit. And also, 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 he doesn't have a mask, but he still has thermal vision. He still has the fucking heads up display. He still looks at everyone like he's got a mask, but he doesn't. So, the predators, the big bad ones that are coming here, they want to take our DNA. They want to take the best of the best DNA, the most highly evolved predator hunter bass fisherman DNA, and then turn it, put it in their cells so they can become the biggest, baddest hunters of the whole galaxy. And guess what DNA they want? The fucking kid! Cause he has that autism! And motherfucking Olivia Munn pointed out that some people think that autism, the SP syndrome, people on the spectrum, they're actually like the next evolution of humanity. The next stage in human evolution. Think of it like X-Men except with less poop powers, you're just like really good at math. And so, so that's the thing. Predator sees the fucking Asby kid and is like, hey, I want to get some of that. I heard this thing online about weaponized autism and I really want to see if I can do it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, the guys from the government to try to hunt the predators, to use the predator technologies and figure that shit out. Well, they're just like taking people in or kidnapping people and whatever the hell you have you. And once they get done with them, they're like, you know what? Fuck it, we can kill them. Let's take him and send him to be lobotomized. Fuck it, I don't care about him. Olivia Munn, let's bring her in. Very special, very happy to have her. Once we're done, take her in the back and fucking shoot her. Oh my God, why would you do that? And it's like, well, we want to keep our secrets. Well, how would you think a fucking body count might be a problem? People notice some shit like that. Why not just keep her on the fucking board? If she's so fucking good at what she does, just bring her in, put her on the payroll. The fucking... How much do these cover-ups cost when you keep killing people? So, so, so. <sighs> the fucking end all of it is that the fucking original Predator design guy brought a Predator killer to Earth. And the Predator killer is like an exoskeleton. It's a little suit, like a Sa Samus Aran's fucking armor, except it looks all Predatored out. It just latches on in like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and the fucking main guys, they're like, that's my new suit. And it's like, no, you're not a fucking superhero. This isn't a fucking superhero series. It's a fucking Predator, you fucking shits! Oh, you can't fucking shit on the goddamn series. All fucking movie long, every t single time you made a little reference, this is get to the chopper. <laughs> oh, it's... God damn it. Say about a two out of five. The action can be enjoyable. The comedy is cringe as fuck, and this is a action comedy. And the ending stacked on top of ending stacked on top of ending really didn't add anything. And it was like really dumb. It's like all the important loony characters survive the majority of the movie until right at the climax where they all get fucking off one after the other. Like they're just fucking nothing. Like they wanted to keep all of them for as much as possible. Don't want to lose them any anywhere, but no, no, no. They just, they just die just right at the end. I figured that they might actually have quite a few of them survive because that was a lot of fucking people who survived the vast majority of the movie. But oh, right at the end, they're all dead. Fuck it. I didn't like it. I, I went in with low expectations because I just figured looking at it, looking, seeing the first trailer, seeing just how it was... Uh, I did not 
did not have high hopes for this movie, and it somehow managed to end up worse than my expectations. I'm like, wow. I never really understood people who were really that upset over Predators, and I still kind of don't. Like, Predators, it's different. But it still... fits. The Predator? Nope. And all that talk about, oh, it has a female Predator in it somewhere, I think that might have been the deleted scene, the delete, the alternate ending that they, that I guess, guess didn't go over too well, and they decided to do some reshoots, and they added a fucking suit, and it's like, ugh. But yeah. I'm gonna drink a lot. So, <clears throat> thank you all for watching. I have been Decker Shadow, and remember... The predator hunts because it needs it to not fuck. I don't know anymore. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Fuck it. Fuck it. Remember, fuck it.